Well, hello friends, Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. I am actually on an airplane headed to California to help my daughter move, and we're going to see if um, this actually will work. I don't know if this video will go up or not, uh, but I'm certainly going to try. We left... Um, uh, the airport this you know this evening and it was pouring down rain. In fact, it was windy. I was scared. I thought it was going to be a rough flight. But let me show you guys. I think this is the Mississippi. Look at that. The sun is beginning to go down. It is actually a really smooth flight right now. It's looking good. Look at that. Look at all. You can see the ships down there or all the barges. Let's see. See what this camera can look at it. Oh. This camera is pretty amazing, actually. It's a 10 times zoom. Wow. I'm not sure where that is. Maybe one of you guys down there are watching. You can tell me what it is I'm looking at, but it's definitely a very industrial area. We have some news. And of course, the Joe Boo Sports Report likes to bring it to you. Um, Jaron Reed, J. Ron Reed, the big man in the middle that I really and truly wanted to get on our team. That's going to be a no-go. He has signed with the Kansas City Chiefs. And, well, Cowboys, I guess they had the internal discussions. It took too long before they made a decision. You got to strike while the iron's hot. But I will at least say this much. I will say this much without a doubt, at least the Dallas Cowboys are thinking about the one technique guys. They're thinking about really trying to do something special with this defense that there's nothing special about last year. And I like the fact that, that they're looking at this. Maybe this will bode well even for the draft because I would love for them to actually put higher on the hierarchy getting a big man in the middle. So now, somebody asked me yesterday, if I had to pick, who would I rather have on my team? Go for KJ Wright, outstanding older linebacker, 31 years old, is an absolute positive beast. A guy who can play downhill, a guy who can teach the guys who have a whole lot. Um, incredible guy. Wouldn't mind having him. Would not mind having him. You get him for a one-year deal um, in things, reasonable price, definitely. Although he did say he's not taking a home team discount to the Seattle Seahawks. Now, the thing with Jared Green, again, you guys know I played one technique um, offensive tackle, excuse me, defensive tackle. Um, I played offensive guard high school. I believe the Cowboys need a great one technique guy. So if you're asking me which one would I rather have first, I forever would always want to have that, that that guy in the middle. But if we get KJ right, I'm good because we've now improved our situation at linebacker. I think we've improved our situation at defensive line, um, not just from the guys that we've had, but I'll also say that we've increased our defensive line from the standpoint of having some age when you talk about Gillimore. Gilmore now actually should be able to have a true offseason where he's going to be able to develop and get into that second year where he's becoming a grown-ass man. Uh, we'll see how Tristan Hill does um, coming off an injury, but I think this offseason is actually going to be big for Randy Gregory. If Randy Gregory can actually work with the team, which is something he has not been able to do, remember he actually had a pretty good season and he couldn't start working out the team until week six. If he's able to go ahead and really put some more meat on there, learn some more, and get into this rotation with Dan Quinn, that could be an improvement on the defensive line. And maybe, you know, there's not a whole lot that's left out there. Uh, we're basically talking about toaster leavings right now as far as the defensive line goes. Uh, well, most free agents. Right? So from here on out, it would either be trades, which I don't think the Cowboys want to do, although come draft day, you never know what you might end up working out. Um, or it's through the draft. But at least we can look at it and say the Cowboys have improved what they've been able to do with the defense. 
and I'm beginning to feel feel pretty good about where they're going. I wish we could have gotten Jaron Reed. That would have been huge. Like him, he would have had a huge impact. But we'll see what we see from uh, KJ Wright. And uh, this big old jet airliner keeps on steaming through. One more peek. Look at that. Let's see that song. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? $25 I paid for the Wi-Fi. I'll see you soon.